I'm a firm believer in gas as a transition fuel. Yeah. And the combination particularly of gas together with renewable energy to solve the intermittency problem. Because mm -hmm. yes, we have to go with renewables as fast as we possibly can in order to achieve our, our net zero objectives. But it doesn't blow, wind doesn't blow all the time and the sun doesn't shine all the time. So we have to solve that intermittency problem. I get your point, you know, that maybe now the, the market will demand more gas. But when I speak to companies that are now dependent and have a high risk in gas, they're, they're looking at ways to shift it. Maybe they can't do it in the short term, but they know that they're going to do it in the mid term. When I talk to people in the street, like my, my mother, she wants to put solar panels in her roof and she's not in this world, right? So I think, uh, yeah, I think renewables are a competitive uh, source of energy and, uh, and it is just a matter of speed on how we can deploy them. Just take the Europe situation. They had a demand side strategy, $100 a ton, pretty much across the entire economy. But the supply side strategy, neither on the install base nor the new stuff was fully, fully in place. And if you can tail the existing supply too quickly and the, and the new supply is not there, you are very vulnerable to volatility and, and commodity price fly-ups, which will derail the transition. So this, this is a kind of false dichotomy. You can't have the transition, you can't have sustainability without security. And right now we don't have that security of supplies. We need to change our development model because the uh, present and past extractive model and linear, which keeps depleting natural resources, and producing an infinite amount of uh, residues which are polluting and accumulating in the biosphere, eventually suffocating it and preventing the biosphere to self-regenerate. Uh,